All right, everybody, here we are. Uh, it's been a while since I made a video. My hair is a little longer, but whatever. Uh, I'm going to do one today on Donald Trump and his... Uh, uh, I, I think the guy's a chameleon. There, there's some people that might uh, think differently about that. Uh, wait a minute here. Okay. Let's see. All right. There we go. I'm going to pop this up. Well, doesn't matter. Donald Trump. A lot of people uh, like him. A lot of people want him to be president. Um, there's some things that he did that I like. But I look at him and Joe Biden as separate sides of the same coin. I'm not going to vote for either of these two. I haven't voted in eight years. And the reason I haven't voted in eight years is because I do not want to be culpable in the destruction of our country. And you'll say, well, Donald Trump wants to make America great again. Wow. Yeah. Uh huh. Donald, Donald Trump is draining the swamp. Yep. I haven't really seen anything. Okay. Now you'll say, well, it's only four years. Well, I really haven't seen anything. I've seen congressional hearings. I've heard a lot of talk. I haven't seen anybody. Uh, most of his time has been spent fighting, uh, you know, his uh, impeachment and all the nonsense uh, surrounding the, you know, uh, Flynn and stuff like that. Um, but, um, the thing is, I, it's been a long day. I think he's a chameleon. Uh, I just think that he's just another globalist in a long line of globalists. Uh, you know, we had, I mean, my gosh, old George Bush was a globalist, won a new world order. Then Clinton came in and he was pointless. He was more for uh, uh, other countries than us. I mean, he, he gave away freedoms. And you had uh, young George Bush. Well, you know, he was here during 9-11, uh, which I believe it was an inside job. Where then they uh, instituted the Patriot Act, which took away freedoms infringing upon our rights that the Constitution and the Bill of Rights give us. Oh, but it's under the guise of we're here to keep you safe, even though the government was never there to keep you safe. I'll keep myself safe. Uh, now we have this. Then we had, of course, Obama. It was just, uh, wow. Wow. You know, it, it, it was sad. It was sad that we had the first black president that was just another puppet. They're all puppets, okay, of those puppet masters, which are the elite, uh, what they call the Illuminati, the Rothschilds, Collins, uh, Windsor, uh, etc., Rockefellers, who are, of course, puppets of the devil. And I see Donald J. Trump as another puppet. He said a lot of things. He, uh, you know, one of the things that I have here is he, he promised that he would put Clinton in jail. Okay. I'm just going to play this for you. It's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. You'd be in jail. That's what he. That's what he said. Um, okay. Well, that's funny because uh, let's see. 
Hillary Clinton got a standing ovation at Donald Trump's inaugural, inaugural luncheon. Wow, I guess, let's see. This did have a video. There we go. There we go. Um, what Donald Trump says here does not sound like somebody who wants to indict Hillary Clinton and put her in jail. Okay, just listen to this. If I'll tell you, there is something that I wanted to say because I was very honored, very, very honored when I heard that President Bill Clinton and Secretary Hillary Clinton was coming today. And I think it's appropriate to say, and I'd like you to stand up. I'd like you to stand up. Clapping for a bunch of scumbags. Those are murderers. Okay, they are culpable in the murders of how, who knows how many people. Vince Foster, uh, what, okay, when they were in the White House, and how many other people, okay, during the and and especially when uh, he was governor, Clinton was governor of Arkansas. How many people died because of his, you know, corrupt dealings with in, in drugs and stuff like that. <laughs> And honestly, there's nothing more I can say because I have a lot of respect for those two people. So thank you all for being here. I, I'll tell you. There I have a lot of respect for those two people. Okay? I'm going to put you in jail. <laughs> you know, you don't put anybody in jail that you have a lot of respect for. I have a lot of respect for somebody after they murder somebody and I have power to put them in jail, am I going to put them in jail? You, I, I would lose respect. Okay, now, depending who it is, and I'm going to say that. You'll, you'll think I'm evil, but if they decided to go out and because of a, a pedophile did something to maybe one of their families, I'd go, okay. All right. I'll probably fine you. <laughs> okay. But, but I'm just saying. I have a lot of respect for those two people. You know, you got to think about this. People say, oh, well, he's just, he's just showing respect to him. Yeah, invite him to the inaugural dinner. But if you are seriously thinking of pressing charges, getting them indicted, and eventually putting them in jail for their crimes... You don't say crap like that. Okay, it could be, you know, just putting on a show. Uh, but I, I couldn't do that to somebody that I don't respect. I have a hard time talking to people I don't respect. So, I don't know. Another one uh, I saw recently, I, I, I don't know how long ago this was, was so uh, i'm going to just click out of that henry kissinger who is uh let's see okay trump a, a man uh a, a great friend Okay, he, he considers, uh, let's see, Henry Kissinger has been a friend of mine. I've liked him, I respected him, but we've been friends a long time. Long before my emergence into the world of politics, which has not been too long. Henry Kissinger is a globalist. He's another of those who's a puppet of the Illuminati, the Rothschilds, etc., there again, this man 
is taking advice from that piece of crap. Okay? And one thing that Henry said about service men and women, or, or well, service men, military men, here, Military men are just dumb, stupid animals to be used as pawns in foreign policy. You know, in foreign policy mean doesn't mean, uh, yeah, okay, I, thank you. Doesn't mean, uh, you know, just going and 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 fighting uh, to defeat maybe a communist country just to get him out of communism. This is globalism he's talking about. This is going and, and, and making a global uh, uh, world, okay? The world, one world government, because he's a one world government advocate. He's, he's pushing for that. So you military men are just idiots and you're to be used as pawns. That is not American. You're, he, that, uh, he's an American? You know, and he's friends with Trump. Good friends for a long time. The guy's 93 years of age. I tell you, you know. Another thing that I have seen recently, which is very troubling. Now, I showed uh, this guy. He He's a globalist. Okay, he's under the... Uh, he's you know, Trump, uh, I mean, uh, the Rothschilds and that. Donald Trump his Taj Mahal was going bankrupt, okay? And he needs to get out of debt. And he, he has a 25-year-old tie with Wilbur Ross, who is a Rothschild, former head of the Rothschild Incorporated bankruptcy advising team, Trump's pick for Commerce Secretary, business ties to Trump spanning 25 years. He's a Rothschild banker. The Rothschilds um, got Donald Trump out of debt. Now, if you, if you make a deal with the devil and say you hold up your end of the bargain, does the devil go, that's fine. It's all paid, no strings attached. Huh? <laughs> no, no. That's why this little wizened troll or whatever you want to call it, I mean, he looks like a piece of crap. You know? It's his buddy. He... Donald Trump owes this guy and owes the uh, Rothschilds who uh, employ, employ this guy. And I'm not saying this, okay? Don't get me wrong. I'm not a Biden fan. I'm not voting for any of them. I do not want to be culpable in the destruction of this country. I wish there'd be a candidate that would come out that would just say, listen, we have a constitution and a bill of rights. And that there is the top of my priorities of getting this country back to where the American people have the freedom that they were given under those uh, two, th two uh, documents. And then we're also going to work on other things. But we, what we want to do is make the American people more independent and self-reliant. See, back when all the 1700s, when the Revolutionary War uh, uh, took place, people were more self-reliant. Uh, yes, there were, uh, you know, towns and cities and stuff, and people worked for other people, but they had more of a an ingenuity. They were well-read. I mean... I watch too much YouTube. I watch way too much YouTube. I'll go on Facebook every now and then and, and just 
go over crap that I went over before. I watch TV shows on Amazon because I have Amazon Prime. I want to try to get away from that. Those people back then were, were well read. They didn't have the distractions we had and they were more ingenious and, you know, self-reliant. They, they believed in, you know, now some would say, uh, uh, I forget what you call that. Uh, I forget, I forget what it is. It, 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 it slipped my mind, but they were more, uh, willing to, you know, work for something where nowadays it's, most of the people, including, I mean, Trump supporters will say no, but they're more, what can he do for us? I, I don't want this guy to do anything for me. I want this guy to leave me alone. I want my local government to leave me alone. You know, I'd love to get to a point where I don't need a damn permit to build anything on my property because my property would be mine free and clear, meaning guess what? I'm not paying property tax anymore. You know, school tax. So our kids can be some of the dumbest kids in the world. I mean, you know, but Donald Trump is a chameleon. You know, uh, during his uh, campaign, boy, he talked about Hillary and Hillary this and I'm going to do this to Hillary. And he got the crowd fervor. They were getting all worked up. They're foaming at the mouth. They're cheering. And nothing has happened. And people say, well, it takes a while. Yeah, yeah, it does. But guess what? Nothing's going to happen. Hillary's going to continue to go on. She's doing fine. Uh... You know, they, uh, it's like I said, congressional hearings where they brought up Comey, they brought other people, they brought that, uh, what is it, S Peter Strzok or whatever, that psychopath, they, 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 and they don't get anything done. Nothing. They put a show on. This is the thing. It debates, you know, congressional hearings, all of this stuff is nothing more than bread and circuses. It's it, it makes you think they're doing something. It's like here in uh, Lebanon County. Okay. Our representative is Russ Diamond. I don't know if there's another one. But, you know, they'll run on a platform of, uh, yeah, we're going to do something about property tax. And I'm like, just wait. Once he gets reelected again, that's going to maybe go on for a few months and then, you're never going to hear anything of it again. Sure enough, that's what happens. Because they got the people right where they want them. They have no respect for you at all. And that means that we do not have representation. I don't care if there's somebody elected and in a position. If he's not listening to the people, and if he's not working hard to get what's best for the people, then he's not representing anybody and therefore we don't have representation. You know? So I'm just saying, watch out. Don't, don't just look at these people and say, well, he's, he's going to make America great or Joe Biden build back better, which that is one of the dumbest phrases I've ever heard. Build back better. That's like a retarded way of saying make America great. But Joe Biden is good at plagiarism. He's good at, you know, not being able to uh, have his own thoughts. He gets somebody else's, uh, what they wrote or what they said, and then he uses that. So I don't like none of them. I'm a libertarian, and the candidate we have is crap too. There's, it's just ridiculous. I mean, you, you take COVID, for instance, you take how America's dealt with it, which I say is just crap. Uh, England has been dealing with it horrendously. Spain, France, Australia is pretty much some places are a, are a military dictatorship. And they try this lockdowns and masks and social distancing. And then they come up with, okay, you got to stay home. 
But then there are uh, COVID deaths and COVID uh, uh, infections start rising up. Really? While Sweden and Japan didn't lock down nothing. You don't need to wear a mask. You don't need to social distance. And there's pretty much barely anything because herd immunity. Okay. And they don't have, I don't know about constitutions or, or whatever. They don't have what we have with the constitution, and the bill of rights. And that the thing, the problem I, I see with American people is that they have no clue. They know there's a constitution and a bill of rights, but they have no clue what it tells them that they have their freedoms, what it gives them. So right away, they just run to, well, whatever the government tells me. You know, that's not what they did. In, you know, now in the 1700s, okay, when they were fighting the, the war, yeah, essentially they had to listen to what their government, but they were not like that. I mean, look what happened with England. We're going to tax you. It was taxes. It wasn't this nonsense that we had now. It was just, we're going to put a tax on that. And they went, well, you're not representing us, so you can go screw yourself with that tax. You know, they were more inclined to, and that's what I believe, they were well-read. They understood things better. And they went, no, that's wrong. Okay, we, you don't do that to us. You're a tyrant. No. And Benjamin Franklin said, you know, when someone said we have a, a republic or whatever, he said, well, for as long as you can keep it, because he knows how people are. They just seem to gravitate toward, I want your foot on my neck. I don't. I have a, I'm very stubborn. There's things I have to go along with. That I'm going to tell you this. If I could end up finding a way to get above those people, there'd be a hammer coming down so fast and so hard, they would wish they never knew me. And I'd say you don't, you don't act tyrannical. If somebody does something criminal, okay, yeah, then you take their rights away from them for a while and you say, you're going to stay over here and you're going to think about that in that cell. Okay. But I'm just saying, don't just take these people at, at face value and, and I'm looking for this. Because that, that's how I see it with a lot of people. You're looking for this guy to do something for you. I am talking to myself as well because there's things in my life. I, this, this channel that I have is called Kramer Unstuck. There's things that I have become unstuck from, okay, since I started this, but then there are things that I still haven't become unstuck from, that I'm still in my, a comfort zone, and I want to get out of that. And that's one of the reasons, okay, I, I, I didn't have any videos. I got back to making videos now. I'm trying to make one, and it's, <laughs> I tell you, you know, it, it was easier when I was doing it consistently because... Uh, now I'm, I think I'm dragging on and rambling on. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say this. Think critically. Okay. You know, do your due diligence. Maybe I'm wrong about him. I don't know. If he gets in for the next four years and nothing happens, I'm not going to be surprised. But, you know. I think as the Amer I, I believe the American people, we are the ones that need to just go, we're going to do for ourselves. We're going to become, uh, you know, uh, take control of ourselves. You know, maybe if the American people wake up and go, no, we want freedom. These people will fade into the background. So that's all I have to say. You know 25 minutes so uh let's see let's go over here all right so that's it that's all i have to say and uh hopefully my next video will be uh less rambling 
Until next time, this is Dave Kramer, and this is Kramer Unstuck.